Hey guys, what's up? It's the Chaos Prophet, and today I have another topic for you. I apologize that I don't have Shadow of Mordor or some Far Cry 4, but that might be coming tomorrow and or definitely next week. Uh, the topic today is uh, what bigger YouTubers do to smaller YouTubers. Uh, not intentionally, but it certainly does happen. What you're watching in the background right now is some uh, GTA of me just messing around. I'm playing as Michael in the single player, shooting cops, shooting people and all that, and I eventually get away uh, and go through a tunnel, but I run through it the whole way, and I decided to cut that and just make another little part. So I hope you enjoy that. It's just me killing random people and cops. So, anyways, I want to talk about uh, what bigger YouTubers kind of do to us little YouTubers and they don't realize it. And so this is really just big versus small YouTubers kind of thing. And I talked about this at one point in my Far Cry 4 uh, series that I don't like it when big YouTubers put out four or five videos uh, a day. Um, now, I do watch one of my guys, one of my famous you know, guys that I watch is uh, Seamus, S-S-O-H, and uh, he hasn't actually produced anything for a few months. He's taking a break, but he, that's what he used to do was upload 10 videos a day, and that's fine because usually they were different uh, series that he had going on. He would post like two or three videos. Still kind of got me angry a little bit, but not as much as like other people that when a new game comes out, and you're a big YouTuber and you post four or five videos in that first day or day or two, you got to know that the smaller YouTubers can't compete at that level. They might be able to put up some videos, but like me, I only have time to do one, maybe two videos, and by then the viewers have already moved on looking for the next part. Uh, it happened to me in Far Cry, it happened to me in Shadow of Mordor, and it happened to me in any other series that I really do. Unless I get the game uh, before everybody, or if it's an indie game, that's the only way that it would work where I would uh, probably stay on top. But it's just like, they don't need to do that. They can post one or two videos the first day, and then a video a day after that, and more than likely people are going to be watching you more than me or any other smaller YouTuber. It's just really irritates me that they do that and it, and it, they do that because they want more views and people to watch their stuff what they don't realize is more than likely they're going to watch their stuff anyway especially if you have like a million subscribers um so it's just it's really stupid to me and uh so this is kind of a rage video uh sort of um there's another video that i'm going to come out with for like overkill or pc versus consoles there are certain ones that I can rage about and you can just tell me, but uh, those are the videos at least that I have lined up. But this really does piss me off because I, you know, just like any smaller YouTuber, can't get their feet off the ground. They can't start really because the bigger YouTubers post so much content that we want to post and there's no fault of their own. Of course, they're allowed to post whatever they want, but since YouTube... Uh, makes it so that the search engines, uh, when you type in anything, uh, when it pops up, it's going to be a bigger YouTuber if you're looking for gaming because they have the views. It doesn't matter what they post. You could talk about PewDiePie and he could just fart all day and laugh at it and and people would watch it. Like, that's just fucking ridiculous to me. So I think it's really stupid. But they have the right to produce any content they want. It's just... Who, who's going to go past page 3 or 4 looking for any type of game that they want? Whether it's Dying Light or whether it's Grand Theft Auto or Far Cry 4. No one. No one's going to go past the third page of looking for people that they want to watch. Or if there's somebody to watch, no one. Okay, I barely do. I do watch smaller YouTubers. I do have friends that are smaller YouTubers. And I try to watch and support everybody that I can. Uh, it's just... I do have four or five big YouTubers that I do watch because I like what they do and they're funny and I like the content that they pr produce like Nerd Cubed uh, and, and SSOH and, and people like that. But I also watch, or, watch small 
YouTubes. And uh, I like their content, but nobody will really notice them because anything they post, whether it's new or old, if it's old, no one's looking it up. And if it's new, they're going to go to the first few people that they see, or at least the first page or two. That's not really fair. It doesn't matter what you put in your uh, uh, tags or description or anything else like that. Uh, even like on tips how to grow, how to grow your YouTuber fast or YouTube fast. There's people, if they've done it and they're big and they have a couple hundred thousand uh, subscribers, they're going to show up first before you do. And it's kind of discouraging. It's kind of stupid. I wish it was the other way around where it showed people with less subs and then it would go to the higher subs and the uh, farther back you go. Now, some people say that would be kind of stupid, but... And that, you know, they deserve to be up there because they have so many views. But once you get a million subscribers basically or even half a million you can pretty much produce anything and you will get what you want so it just doesn't make any sense uh you'll always get viewers you always get more subscribers people talk and, and want more things so um i don't know it just kind of pisses me off uh i apologize uh, I, I didn't rage too much in this video, uh, probably in the PC versus console and some other things, maybe Payday, uh, Overkill not paying us attention. Uh, I will have more rage in that, uh, but uh, you can kind of tell that I I don't like shit like this, and that's one of the reasons why I didn't do Dying Light. I like that game and I might get it eventually, but I'm not going to put more stress on myself. And I know people will be like, just have fun, just do it the way you want to do it, and just record and all that. That's good too, but I also kind of want to make this a career at some point. So, the fact that the bigger YouTubers are on top and are really hard to knock off, kind of pisses me off. There are some good ones out there, but not too many that will help smaller YouTubers, even though that's where they began. <sighs> it just, it's kind of sad, you know, kind of sad. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys uh, want to see more GTA or, or see more content from me. And tell me what you want to see. If you There's some games that I don't play. I don't play a lot of FIFA or sports and, and stuff like that. So um, I wouldn't ask for any of those. But almost anything else I will try and play. Um, I haven't been playing Grand Theft Auto a lot. And I probably won't be playing the heists even though they're free whenever they come out. Or if they did come out, I don't know. Uh, I'm just not into Grand Theft Auto anymore. They kind of pushed me away with uh, delaying it so often and and bullshitting around with us. So uh, I don't know if I'll come back to GTA Online for a long time, or at least it won't be on 360, which is this is on. Uh, it will be on Xbox One. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the topic. Um, I only have about I don't know a minute and a half left, so. I hope you guys enjoyed the topic and tell me what other topics you want me to talk about if they're serious or not or whatever you want to do. So that's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I know I want to I wanted to kind of rage at this before when I did a video on uh, on Far Cry 4. Uh, but now my rage has kind of died down a little. So but anyways, this has been the Chaos Prophet saying don't get lost in the chaos. I'll see you guys later, and be free.